Hey friends, welcome back to Daily Sews and Stuff. So if you watched my last video, I replaced the bulb in my UST projector. And now, having replaced the bulb, I've moved it several times in and out of position. And while I haven't tested it, I'm certain it is no longer calibrated. So I am showing you how to do quick corners, um, and I'll explain to you why that's kind of a last resort. Let's turn you guys around and get some calibration done. All right, here in the Epson UST projector menu, I've gone to menu and I've scrolled down to settings. We see Keystone at the very top. If I click that, it gives me a uh, horizontal vertical Keystone. Um, and it tells you right here, if this setting is changed, the image may be distorted. Now, another setting you can use is Quick Corner. And this is something that I've used before and was actually set on my projector. Um, and so whenever I reset everything, it, it went away. Um, so this also warns you that it can distort your image. What basically happens is it turns some pixels on and off in order to um, digitally alter the keystone. And so because of that, it, it can make your image just a little bit less clear. But I'm gonna go ahead and play with it anyways, partly to show you guys and partly because frankly, it's the easiest way to get your calibration correct. And right now, oops, well, I just threw that off, didn't I? And right now, I am just happy to go for it easy. I've been using it for a few months now and it hasn't been terrible. I haven't really noticed a big difference. So we're gonna do that. All right, so you start by, it's highlighted, this top corner is highlighted and you click that and you can use the up and side arrows to adjust that corner. This corner doesn't really need to be adjusted, I don't think, so I'm just gonna hit escape. Now I'm gonna use the same arrow keys to go over to this corner. And this corner, I am going to kind of kick out that way a couple clicks and up a couple clicks. Oop, not up, just out. Yeah, that seems about right. And it cannot adjust any further, it says. So I'm gonna escape out of there, go down to the bottom one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kick that out a little bit. Um, so now my vertical line is much better lined up. Um, actually, it's not. It's a little bit off. I'm gonna bring it back in just a little bit. There, that looks much more vertical. Um, and I can go up and down, but I don't feel like I need to. Up and down seems fine. And we're gonna hit escape. We can look over at this other corner, but honestly, I feel like right now, all my corners are great. Um, the only one that might need a little bit more adjustment is that top one right there. So let's see if it allows us to adjust that anymore. Yeah, that's as far as it'll let us adjust it. I like that. Let's see if this one will let us go a little bit more. I have to remember that I have to push down on that side to get it correct. All right, I am happy with this. I feel like this is um, a really nice calibration. It is less, far less than a quarter inch off at my 16 by 24 inch uh, box. So it is far more than 99% accurate and just fine for what I'm doing. All right, now that I have done the quick corners and I've got my corners all exactly where I want them, I am able now to project a pattern and cut. I'm done, yay. All right, so quick corners is a really easy way to make sure that your projector has got those last little tweaks done. And you can always watch this video to find out how you do the physical calibration that it should always be your first step and should always be the way that you get it as close as possible before jumping to those quick corners. As always, you can ask questions or write comments down below in the comment section. You can find me in my Facebook group, Daily Sews and Stuff Friends, and you can, and you can find me in the Projectors for Sewing Facebook group. Thanks for watching, bye. Thanks for watching my videos, like, subscribe, and comment.